Hello and welcome to episode 19 of my Planet Explorers tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on the colony and in particular we will be covering the processing facility and the factory replicator. Uh, and I want to, the aim of this video is to one, give you a clear understanding of the difference between the replicator and the processing facility, and also how to maximize uh, the usefulness of them. In other words, how to assign staff uh, workers to them so and show the benefits so that's what I want to achieve so let's try I'm not saying I'm, I will succeed some of you no doubt I'll either be too quick or too fast but I can only but try so anyway then we're going to start with the fa factory replicator so if I press the E key on it this is what the factory replicator looks like by the way Okay, so there we go. If I do the E key on it, that brings up our factory replicator. And you can see down here is the replication tree. This works just like the same as if you go to here and, oh, it seems to be a bit laggy my computer for some reason, I don't know why. Oh, come on, for goodness sake. Okay, it's the same as if you went to your um, replicator here using the M key. The difference is, of course, with the factory replicator, it will make items that you cannot make from yourself, from your own replicator. For example, the uh, laser cannon you have to make using the fa factory replicator. And I believe the same holds true for the uh, Sentry Type 2 uh, turret, which I actually have a mission for. When I went back to um, Chen, he gave me this quest when I killed the, you know, I'd killed the condor and then four creatures. So I handed Ben and he gave me this quest. So I wanted to show you that, but that's later on. So getting back to the factory replicator. Okay, so there's items in here that you can create only from the factory replicator. So if you have the question, do you need a factory replicator? The answer clearly is yes, because there are all sorts of items you can only make using this. And another one of them is to do with your farming. You can only make it in here. I don't know if it's the foam or, or, or the something else, the fertilizer, something you have to use the factory replicator. So it's very important to have one. Right, okay, so that's the factory replicator. Over here, you can see you've got a repair if one of the, the creatures gets too near and starts chewing on it because it thinks it's a bone or something, then you can repair. But here is the one that involves us for this episode. If we click this, it will show you the list of staff workers you have assigned to the um, replicator. So what I'm going to do to start with, you can see I've got at the moment Agnes Copperfield. So if I click the cross, you'll see that that does not remove Agnes. The way to remove Agnes, if you need to remove workers, is first of all find um, what it is there and under what heading they'll come under. So for the factory replicator of course, it's a worker. So then we go to work and we will set that to, for now, Dweller. Okay? Now, you're saying, Games do you fall? What are you doing? Why are you bothering with this? Well, there's a point, trust me, okay? Now, if we go back to the factory uh, replicator, I've removed Agnes, you see? Now, that's empty. Why have workers assigned to your factory replicator well i want to try and show you this so let's see if i can demonstrate now it'll need to be with an item that will take a little while to make um and it also needs would need to be a, a say a hundred of that item so oh i can't do that that's a nuisance that's a shame what about the fertilizer um, I can try and mm, I want to try and find something where I've got abundant of the resource so there's time to show you no I don't want a hundred beakers that'll do no good to man or beast uh, oh wait a minute what about wooden shovel I can always sell them can't I 
and we have got plenty of wood. Right, so let's make 100 wooden shovels. All right, let's not make. That's a lot of wood, mind you. Yeah, well, we can cancel it. So, right, let's show you. 100 shovels, look at how long it's going to take. So we click this, and you see here, it's working away. Can you hear that? And you can see how slow the bar's going up. So I'm going to cancel. There you go, cancelled. Right, so that's without a worker assigned. Now we go to the workers and work. We're going to assign Agnes back as a uh, worker. <clears throat> and then when you do that, of course, you can choose what uh, structure you want to assign them to. Well, the one that affects us is the factory replicator. Notice you can have up to four staff assigned. We're just going to go with Agnes for now. Okay, now we switch back to the factory replicator. If we look here, you'll see Agnes is reassigned. Now let's try our hundred shovels. See if we notice a difference. Now, trust me when I tell you that is going at about 30% quicker than what it was before, or maybe 20%. If you assigned four people to this, that bar is going to go up really quickly. So the point of what I'm trying to show you here is that it does matter, it does make a difference assigning workers to the replicator. The more you have, the quicker it gets. Some of these items that you get, will get on to making, like the turrets and some of the other items, take a long time to make. So when you assign, though, if you assign four personnel to uh, the factory replicator, you're talking that you're going to cut off 80% of how long it will take. And for some of these things, you'll be thankful trust me you'll be very thankful so there we are that's the factory replicator that's what it does now what is the main difference between the factory replicator and the processing facility I will tell you in a nutshell the factory replicator has to have resources in order to make a finished product whether that be a laser cannon or whether that be anything else that you want to replicate. You have to have the materials in order for it to do it. That's the factory replicator. Now here's the beauty, here's the cool one. Let's move on to the um, processing facility because here's where your colony gets ultra cool and trust me when I tell you that, you are gonna love your colony. Okay, here is the processing facility. Oh, I've got an audience as well. So, we'll click E on that. Right, now, so, let's put that there so it doesn't grey out. Now, there are a number of differences with your processing facility. The most important difference between this and your factory replicator this does not require you to have any materials. Now think of um, think of uh, Star Trek and the uh, the gadget that they use in that for getting their food and drinks. They just push a button and out it comes. Uh, yeah, that probably uses materials to make the end product. But for this, for the fact the uh, processing facility, it just pulls it out of thin air. The materials to make these uh, items. So let's show you then the, the usefulness of this. So as you can see here I've currently got a queue going where I'm processing um, coal. See look at how cool is that. The items were made and collected and put in the storage. Right okay so your question you're asking me is 
Gamester, do I even want to bother with this? Yes, you have to. You will need to use the processor. Why? Well, what does your base run on? Your base runs on power. What does the what supplies the power to your base? Oh, by the way, if you don't select anything to get created, your colonists decide to do it themselves. How fantastic is that? Anyway, sorry, but I'm losing the point. So, your colony runs from power. How do you get power? Well, you have to have coal. Lucky, luckily enough, one of the items you can um, process is coal. And it doesn't cost you any resources or materials to create coal. So you can create an endless supply of coal for your colony. You do not have to do any mining at all. And that goes for every single item you see in here. You do not have to mine any of these items. You can just make them in the processor. So how, I mean, I just, you know, that is just one of the coolest reasons that there is for having a factory uh, processing facility. Right, now I'm getting ahead of myself here because if we have a look, okay, there's still a bit for me to explain. Don't go to sleep, it's far too early and there's still far much for me to show you. Right, over here, okay, you see there's the repair. Uh, it's got a little bit of damage, so maybe keep on top of that, checking your 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 structures. Notice here, if you wanna repair, oh, for goodness sake. If you wanna repair, it's gonna need these materials. And, wait a minute, I know I'm probably, cons no, I don't think I can sort this out. Let's try canceling that, moving that to there, rip it, no. anyway, not a biggie, you can see the four things that you need, and so that's what you need if you want to repair, okay, I won't worry about that for now, let's show you something important, so the, the processing facility, do you need staff workers assigned to it, the answer is yes, in order for it to work, you have to assign at least one person to it, so let's take a look at that now then. What does it come under for the processing facility? Yes, you've guessed it, processor. And as you can see, I've got two people assigned to the processor, okay? I mean, I'd like to have more, but until I can round up more people, I'm gonna go raid the Martian but colony. I mean, I'm not gonna attack them. I'm gonna go there to see if I can grab a load of their people. It's worth a try, isn't it? Anyway, the more people you can have, the better. Why? So first of all, let's remove these from the processor. Let's start at the beginning. It's not my way to jump in uh, half cast. So, okay, right. Clearly, now that, uh, let's see if it's gonna update that. Okay, so if we go back to processor, right, see, there's no one assigned to it. And notice the sound from the processor has stopped. So did I tell you truthfully? The answer clearly is yes. Your processor will not work if you don't have any workers assigned to it. So let's take a look at this then. The first reason to have staff assigned to your processing facility is one, so it will work. Okay, so if you assign minimum of one person then and assign them to this processing zero, then you can process everything through here. If you assign two people, so right, let's now assign two workers. Dang it, I forgot who the workers were. Uh, mind you, I made them dwellers, that's right. So if we go to, it's the dwellers. Oh, it doesn't show dweller up there. How interesting. Okay, so let's find the two that I released. I'm looking for, oh, right, okay, so here's one. Now, I imagine that uh, you can train these up to, in, for one of the skills, I, that much I haven't worked out. For the factory replicator, um, uh, 
with Agnes, I did train her up. Um, you obviously want to train them up. Let's go show you Agnes quickly. Sorry, I know I'm jumping back and forth, but this is one of them important moments. So, let's find a uh, worker. And Agnes, and info. See down here, this is the, uh, not the hunter, she was that already. Here we go, replication training. So one of the personnel, one of the current people on the colony, uh, if you go through them, you'll find has a replication. Now, they have a, an elite for something else, so I've got them doing something else. So what I did is I trained up Agnes to replication training. Now, there may be an elite replication training out there. I've not found them. The best I found was training two. So I trained Agnes twice on this replication training too. She now has that, and as you can see, gives a bonus of 20% to the production rate in the factory replicator, which is why I said to you, each member of staff you add can add 20%. That's of course, if you give them this 20% training. Now it may even be more than that, because um, I'm, sh well, I'm, I'm going out on a limb now, I'm purely speculation on that. But as we can see here, the facts are clearly this Agnes will give us a 20% boost to the production on the replicator. Going back to the processor, like I say, it may well, um, I have not found anything to do with that. The benefit of assigning more than one person to the uh, processor, of course, is you can assign either one to each individual okay so you so let's say we've got four workers worker one here worker two here worker three here and worker four you can either do that or you can have all four assigned to number this zero what that means is it will go four times faster on each of the materials right so let's give a demonstration no point in just waffling i need to show you so what we're going to do let's find them workers the two dwellers and put them back. Okay, so. Oh, what did I do with the. Wait, I need to go to work, don't I? Of course, idiot. Right, okay, so there's the dweller. Right, so I'm going to put him to processor. And I'm going to assign him to processor zero. Like so. Cool. Now I need to find the second processor. Notice here the, set, the process has started up. Well, you can see it there anyway. Right, so let's find the second dweller. Oh, there we are, cool. Right, let's assign them to the processor. Now, I can either assign them to number one. See, I've selected number one. Now, what that means is if I now go to the replicate, the processor, I can now queue up separately items to be made. So let's do some coal. So we select coal. I will create um, how many? I'm just thinking, oh, let's do max. And do I, what, how many rounds do I want it to go for? So do I want to do one lot of 50 coal? Or you can, that's the max by the way, you can't do more than 50 at a time. But what you can do is a number of rounds for it. So I could say make 50 coal 10 times. Or what I can do, okay, can't put that back to zero. What I can do is add other items. So coal, I want 50. Let's now add, okay. Next, I want some petroleum. So we select that. We'll say 50 and add. Now we want some tin. We'll say 50. No, maximum of 20 and add. Now we'll say we want some zinc. Uh, 20 and add. Okay, so you can see what's going on here. We're queuing up all these different items to make. If I wanted to just make sure my base has a permanent amount of coal, I would rack up max amount of them, max amount there, and fill each of these with coal as well. But let's take a look at what else we can make. So here, herbs. So this is dealing with the uh, foods 
and items for making um, healing products in this uh, herb section so foods and herbs cooking and uh, healing and then we've got other and here now remember to repair that last item or this item see we need this product which is rubber so we know we need rubber to repair this so if we didn't have rubber we'll simply either go cut some trees or add rubber maximum and add now we're going to get 50 rubber same for resin I'd run out of resin so let's add 50 resin you can even make animal bones although I've got a ton so I won't bother with that charcoal um, ok let's do you guessed it max of that let's make some plant fibre and why not some animal fat and some salt which you need for cooking uh, water I'm going to go scoop another thousand up out of the sea and you can even make fresh food straight like that there you go and then we click start now you can do auto so it have automatically started so let's do that there you go see time has started he's now producing coal so that's having your staff split up they can each individually create the items okay now what I could do though is assign this processor to number one or see he's making water so you'll never run out of water for your farm when you're off adventuring um, because they regen they get the seeds as well when they harvest so it's all going back into itself but let's say processors the person on processor zero so let's go back to the personnel notice that this is going to be a long time 152 minutes let's show you how to speed it up so if we go to the staff he is assigned to one let's find the one who's on zero which is him let's now put him to oops wrong one no right one let's assign him to one do you see how the time changed so he's now on one let's go back to the processor and lo and behold look how much the time has dropped that went from a huge amount well in case you missed it right so 55 let's go back let's assign him to zero let's go back to the processor oh wait a minute I hasn't done it right okay if that happens to you to switch him to dweller put him back to processor and no okay so it don't like that uh, it, this has to, I know why I know why being stupid again but then isn't that why you love me right okay so the reason I can't moving off move him from this is because it has to finish now crafting when that's finished crafting then I can reassign him okay so that's the answer to why I couldn't move him you have to wait for it now to finish I could click stop but I'm not gonna because I want some coal and I want some rubber don't ask me why and I want some food because I am nuts and of course I want all of this other stuff but look at this no more mining coal no more mining petroleum no more having to mine tin or zinc they are all given to you freely on a platter now if we go back to the ores all these ores are given to you free look at that diamonds all right you don't make many and it takes long time but you don't have to mine anymore but I love mining so I'm gonna keep mining so don't you tell me I'm not gonna have to mine because I am I'll enjoy mining but for y'all who don't like mining you can just process it anyway so that is the processor and the factory replicator do you have any questions no okay well if you do if you decide later on that there is something that I didn't uh, you wasn't clear or clear on or clear about then just leave a comment
and ask a question. Don't worry, I don't bite. I'll simply answer. OK, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye. Oh, do you see that? Just finished. How cool. Now, if I look in the storage, I'll have them. Now you can see why I've got three storages built. But if I look in here, we will find, trust me when I tell you, all that lovely yummy coal. Anyway, goodbye.